All right. You've heard from us, so now it's time to hear from your crew. I'm going to clear the stage, and I'm going to turn things over to our Artemis II commander, Reed Wiseman. All right, so I got to ask the school kids, is it hot in here today? Yeah. Woo! All right, and uh, I don't think that in my 14 years at NASA, we've had this many astronauts in one place at one time. I'm losing my voice. We're having so much fun backstage. It is great to see this diverse international group. Awesome to be here with you guys. Woo! Uh, I'm going to hand it over to uh, the gentleman to my right here, uh, Victor Glover, who has become, in the last few years, an amazing mentor to me. Uh, I didn't ask for it. He didn't ask for it. It just happened that way. Uh, one of the, the best leaders I know, one of the best dads, husbands, and friends, and, uh, and one of the most talented aviators I've ever met, Victor Glover. Thanks, Lee. I appreciate that. Wow, what a day. Look at all of this. This is amazing, isn't it? I mean, after all of that, I feel like Denzel Washington should be up here talking to you. <laughs> but you just got us. <laughs> I want to thank God for this amazing opportunity. And I, I think I speak for all of us. I want to thank our families for the amazing support. It is your love and support that has made this journey possible. Please give them a round of applause. And to all of the folks who made this celebration possible, thank you for your hard work. They're the real ones in here sweating with all of us. <laughs> but this is a big day. We have a lot to celebrate. And it's so much more than the four names that have been announced. We need to celebrate this moment in human history. Because Artemis II is more than a mission to the moon and back. It's more than a mission that has to happen before we send people to the surface of the moon. It is the next step on the journey that gets humanity to Mars. Yeah, you can clap for that. That's good. And this, this crew, this crew will never forget that. Now, we have a lot of work to do before we get there, and we understand that. And when talking about that work, you, you may often hear people say, human spaceflight is a marathon, not a sprint. But we have watched the people that work so hard to make our mission possible, and I can tell you, it is a series of sprints. That's called a relay race. <laughs> Human spaceflight is like a relay race. And that baton has been passed generation to generation and from crew member to crew member. From the Gemini, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, Apollo Soyuz, Skylab, Mir, the shuttle, International Space Station, commercial crew, and, the, and now the Artemis missions. And we understand our role in that. And when we have the privilege of having that baton, we're going to do our best to run a good race to make you proud. I pray that God will bless this mission, but I also pray that we can continue to serve as a source of inspiration for cooperation and peace, not just between nations, but in our own nation. Thank you, and God bless us all. Thanks, Victor. Awesome words. What I, uh, what I wanted to highlight for all of you today is, uh, well, you know, big picture when I step back, there are two reasons why a Canadian is going to the moon. That makes me smile when I say that. <laughs> uh, the first one is American leadership. It is not lost on any of us that the United States could choose to go back to the moon by themselves. But America has made a very deliberate choice over decades to curate a global team. And that, in my definition, is true leadership. A body, an entity that seeks out others who can contribute, right? allows them to rise up, lifts them up to make their contributions to bring their genius. That is American leadership. And as a Canadian, I am very proud to reflect that back to you, and I am grateful all Canada is, all of Canada is grateful for that global mindset and that leadership, so thank you.
The second reason is Canada's can-do attitude. For <laughs> yeah. For decades now, literally thousands upon thousands of Canadians have risen to that challenge to bring real value to the international partnership with respect to space exploration, to bring real solutions. Our scientists, our engineers, the Canadian Space Agency, the Canadian Armed Forces, across government, all of our leadership working together under a vision to take step by step, and all of those have added up to this moment where a Canadian is going to the moon with our international partnership, and it is glorious. So at the end of it all, I am left in awe of being reminded what strong leadership, setting big goals with a passion to collaborate and a can-do attitude can achieve. And we are going to the moon together. Let's go. Thank you, uh, Victor. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Reed. It is an honor to be here. I also want to thank our families, the trailblazers, our colleagues, and our leadership. My fellow astronauts know that one of the questions we get all the time is, are you excited? And I can tell you, when I think about this mission that's a relay race with international partners, it's also so awesome in and of itself. We are going to launch from Kennedy Space Center through the work of the Exploration Ground Systems team. We're going to hear the words, go for launch, on top of the most powerful rocket NASA's ever made, the Space Launch System. And we're going to ride that rocket for eight minutes into Earth orbit. We're not going to go to the moon right away. We're going to stay in an amazing high orbit reaching a peak of tens of thousands of miles while we test out all the systems on Orion and even see how it maneuvers in space. And then, if everything looks good, we're heading to the moon. Yeah. It will be a four-day journey going a quarter of a million miles, continuing to test out every bit of Orion going around the far side of the moon, heading home, going through the Earth's atmosphere at over 25,000 miles per hour, and splashing down in the Pacific. So, am I excited? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but my real question is, are you excited? <laughs> I see you. And I ask that because the one thing I'm most excited about is that we are going to carry your excitement, your aspirations, your dreams with us on this mission. Artemis II, your mission. I think I'm in pretty good hands. <laughs> um, Victor, Jeremy, Christina, thank you guys for those words. Absolutely awesome. Uh, we're just going to close. The crew would not close without just saying thank you. That is thank you to the NASA workforce. Thank you to our industry partners. Thank you to the Canadian Space Agency, everyone in Europe that's working for this. we got people in Airbus uh, working our European service module. This is a global effort, Artemis II, and it's only going to get larger with Artemis III and beyond as we get private space flight involved. SpaceX is building our lander for Artemis III. So to the NASA workforce, to our program managers, our center directors that are here, the amazing political support that we feel right now to bring our country together, to bring our entire world together to go explore, to get to Mars and beyond we say a huge thank you. Uh, to the astronauts that are over here, a huge thank you. You are our friends, you are our families, you are our colleagues. And uh, I do want to highlight right now, there are seven folks on the International Space Station, where's Joel? On Joel's International Space Station, orbiting our planet right now, three 
cosmonauts, three Americans, and an Emirati from the United Arab Emirates. If any of you over there are looking for heroes today, go Google these folks, because they're our heroes. And I definitely want to call out our friend Frank Rubio, who uh, has already spent six months up there. And Frank is going to spend another six months due to a, uh, an issue with the spacecraft. So he'll be up in space for over an entire year. All right, that man is a hero, for sure. And then, and then Frank Rubio leads me to Deb Rubio, his wife and his four kids. That family, those are heroes. They are putting it out there and they are getting the job done and it is amazing. And she still gives us eggs fresh from her chickens at her farm whenever we go over there. I mean, it's totally awesome. The Rubio family is an amazing family. And that brings the four of us to our families who are in the audience with us. This is gonna be a relay race unlike any you've ever run. And we are so happy to have you with us. Thank you. There's three words that we keep saying in the three words that we keep saying in this Artemis program. We are going, and I want everybody to say it on three. One, two, three. We are going.